Hello friends, welcome back to Good Life Farm. So today I am sharing with you a little bit of an antique haul. Most of you know that I absolutely love antiques. I love going antiquing. I love going antiquing even if I don't buy anything. Um, the other day I shared um, my trip to one of the stores in the area and then I went to uh, the mercantile and I shared what I did pick up there. Uh, I just, I love antiquing. It's, it's kind of my thing. And like I said, I love just walking through the stores. I enjoy looking at all the old items, kind of going down memory lane, thinking of things that, you know, my grandparents had and stuff like that. Um, so even if I don't buy anything, I still enjoy doing it. It's one of the few types of shopping that I actually do enjoy doing. Now, a lot of times when I am going to antique stores, if I'm looking to purchase something, it is usually with a purpose. There's there's something in particular that I'm looking for, for whatever reason. Sometimes it's something to use, like a piece of furniture. Um, maybe it's something for storage because I love repurposing old things into new purposes. Um, but I don't do a ton of just shopping for decor. We have a small home, it's only 1,500 square feet, so I have to be very selective and intentional about the things that I bring home because I just, I don't have a place to put them all. And one of the things I like to do to create a new look in my home without bringing something more in is just by going shopping in other rooms or on other shelves for things to put together in a new way. For instance, on my kitchen table, I do a tablescape in the center of it, and I'm always changing it up. I, I change it up almost every week. I, I just move different things around, pull in something new from up on a shelf, um, and, and just kind of redecorate with the things that I already have because they're things that I love anyways and so it's just a way of kind of reutilizing the things that are already here in the home. For instance, the other day I completely deep cleaned my kitchen. You know, from time to time you've got to scrub the baseboards, you've got to wipe down all the shelves, you've got to dust and wash all of the things that are in the room and so that was the day I did it and in the process of doing that I completely redid my Hoosier cabinet behind me. I redecorated with different things. I took some of the things that were already there, moved them to a different spot in the home, brought in some things from other locations. I took my antique cookbooks, I moved them to the top of the Hoosier, and just kind of gave it a fresh look for the summer, I guess you could say. You know, I have all sorts of little things that I've picked up over the years, or things that came from grandparents or family members. I have things that were gifts from sweet subscribers, and so it's a great way to use these things and kind of show them off and create a, a new look in the process. That said, I have brought a few new things here to the homestead recently and I just wanted to share all of those with you. So first of all, I love baskets. I, I use baskets you know, as baskets. I also use them for decoration like in my light fixture over the table. And there's an antique store here in my town that I go to pretty often. I actually probably go to it more than any other just because of where it's located. And in there, there was this basket that pretty much every time I would go into the shop, I would look at this basket and I would pause because I loved this basket, but I didn't love the price. Uh, I just couldn't bring myself to pay what they were asking for it. Well, I went in there not too long ago when I went antiquing with my son and daughter-in-law and everything in that booth was marked half price. Well, that basket was still there and so of course I brought it home with me. And I love this basket because first of all, it's a good solid basket. Everything about it is structurally sound. You know, sometimes you'll see a pretty basket and you pick it up and it's rickety and you can't really use it for anything. 
However, this basket is nice and solid. The handles are solid. The, the top of it is wood and it's all in great condition. It doesn't have a weird smell. That is sometimes an issue with antiques in general. Um, and I loved this basket and so I brought it home and I will be putting this to use as storage. The next item that I picked up was a rocking chair, an antique rocking chair that I actually almost bought this about a month or so ago. I loved how it was nice and solid. It rocked beautifully and smoothly. There was no bumps or shimmies or anything like that. And when I went to the antique store yesterday, it just so happened that it was still there. And so I brought it home with me and this will be my rocking willow chair. Now currently out on my clothesline is a collection of other things that I picked up and that is some antique tablecloths and some doilies and napkins. Now many of these items I actually picked up to use for something, a little bit of a project which I will share with all of you later on. However, items like the big round, um, I believe it's Battenberg lace tablecloth that I actually got to use as a tablecloth because I thought it would be perfect for the kitchen table here for special occasions. And then I have two more things to share with you. This one right here is a very interesting bucket. Um, this was actually a firefighter's bucket. It was used, I'm not sure if it was used for carrying water or if it was used for carrying uh, salt or sand, but I just loved the look of this and I actually got this to hang out in my greenhouse and I'm going to use it for holding hand tools. Um, you know, the little trowels and hand rakes and things like that. I thought this would be perfect for it. It'd be interesting looking and I'll, I'll just put a hook out there to hold it up and put all my tools in there. And then the last item that I want to share with you is something that I went specifically looking for yesterday. Um, it was my whole purpose of going to the antique store actually and I was hoping it was still there. A very dear friend of mine uh, who I visit with often. She has an incredible eye for antiques and decor and her house always looks like it could be straight out of a magazine. It's, it's stunning. Um, but one of the things that has always caught my eye every time I go to her house is in her sunroom over her back door she had an antique pitchfork hanging up there and it is a pitchfork like I have never seen. It's entirely wood and it's so unique looking it almost doesn't even look real but it clearly is and I thought I would love to do something like that have a pitchfork hung up like that as decor well I knew I would never find one like that but I had seen an antique wooden pitchfork at the big antique store in Coleman and so when I went yesterday, I went straight to the spot where I had always seen that pitchfork, hoping it was still there, and it was. So I had the perfect spot there over the back door to hang it, and I just used some cast iron hooks that I had picked up at Hobby Lobby to hang it with. So the kitchen was a big project when we moved in, but it's not something that I did all at once. I have a video that I made where I talked about the process and and what changes um, had been done to the kitchen over the time that we have lived here at that point. And there's one thing left that I have not touched that I really need to, and that is the back door, actually all of the doors. They all desperately need to be painted. Um, they've kind of been crying out for that since we moved here. Um, and so I've actually been doing some research and I decided upon a paint that I'm going to use it is a mineral chalk paint and they actually make a product, this, this particular company makes a product that you can prime surfaces with, uh, whether it's plastic or metal or glossy or what have you, and once you use that you can then use the regular paint and paint the surface. And so that is the plan. There's actually an antique store here in town that is a retailer for this particular paint. 
And so this afternoon I'm going to go there and see if they have that primer um, product in stock and get a look at all of the paints in person. Um, I'm pretty sure I know which paint I want to get, but I would like to actually see it and know for sure that it's the right one because, you know, when you look at something on a computer monitor or a mobile phone, it may not be exactly the same in person. And so I'm going to head there and look at all of those and um, make the final determination. So I need to do that. This has been this has been something that has been a little bit of an eyesore to me. And so that's going to be the next thing that I do here in the kitchen. So that is it for today. I hope you enjoyed this little bit of an antique haul. Um, if you have any questions, please leave them in the comments down below. I will put a link down below to the kitchen renovation where I go through the entire process and I show you everything that I had changed here in the kitchen if you are interested in checking that out. So thanks for joining me here in the Homestead Kitchen. My name is Constance at a Good Life Farm and I'll talk to you later.